Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Real Hazardous. Today we're going to do a little um, fishing experiment, I should say. I like to do a lot of tests. If you've seen my videos before, we've done some underwater tests. We'll look at lures underwater, put our scuba tanks on, look at high speed trolling lures, live bait, vertical jigs, different line colors, stuff like that. But today I want to do a, a test on um, basically ice, our fish box and fish bags. Um, we have a what they call a fish bag, basically a big long bag, insulated, that you can, it's portable, you can take it on the boat, take it off the boat, um, put ice, put fish in, stuff like that. And I want to see how it compares to our fish box. So I set up a test. We're going to take a single bag of ice, 20 pound bag of ice. We're going to put one in our fish box and we're going to put one in the fish bag on the deck right next to our fish box. It's a very warm day in Florida. It's uh, 90, about 92 degrees high. And what we're gonna do is just put a bag in one, put a bag in the other, and we've got a gauge in each of them, a probe, to um, see when they finally melt. And we're gonna see which one lasts the longest. It's kind of surprising in a good way. They actually lasted pretty good. I thought uh, by the end of the day, they would be melted, but they were still both, there were still frozen pieces in the in the bag you know they're slowly melting but still ice in them by the night so we actually left them there and in the morning checked them and uh, finally one of them melted it was in fact the fish bag that melted before the fish box I really wasn't sure how it was going to turn out you know our boats 2000 model contender coolers and insulation has come a long ways I wasn't sure how good that fish box would be but as it turned out the fish box lasted longer than the bag, you know, in the sun. So here are the results for that test. The bag melted in just about 28 hours, but the uh, fish box lasted an additional 10 hours, 38 hours. Keep in mind, you know, that was one bag in there. Normally you go fishing, you're gonna put a couple bags, you, know, you're gonna, you have a good layer of ice in your bag, your box, whatever. And when you have more of it, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna last longer. Now, I wanted to do a separate test because I'm still a big fan of the bag. I mean, I get the nature of that being a, a bag, insulated, flexible. It probably wouldn't be as good as a hard box built into the deck of your boat, thicker, stuff like that. But what I like about the bag is um, it's portable, flexible, at the end of the day, I could take the whole bag out, take it to our cleaning station. If I'm in a tournament, just take the bag straight out the boat and go to the weigh-in. You kind of have that flexibility having a bag. What I've typically been doing is putting a bag in our fish box and then putting the stuff in. So I'm going to do a second test. And this time, I've got in the fish box, I got my fish bag and I've got a standalone bag of ice just in the fish box still kind of like our original test. When I put the bag in the box with a bag of ice in it, it actually lasted 54 hours. Went from 38, if you just had ice in the box, up to 54. Um, overall, adding that insulation helps. Um, in either case, all three options, you know, if you don't have a very big fish box in your boat, like say you've got a little inshore boat like this, you wanna go out on the beach, catch some kingfish, these boats don't normally have long coolers for fish like kingfish and cobia, stuff like that. So you could take a bag with you and leave it on the top of the deck, load it with ice, and you'd be good for the day. Packed with ice, you may even get two days out of it. If you're like me and already have a boat and you know maybe you just want that extra insulation, put the bag in. Or if you just want the ease of being able to just lift the bag out in the end of the day, take the fish wherever you need to, um, then I would suggest get a fish bag. They definitely help if you add a fish bag to your box. And in general, I really like the fish bags all around. It's just, they've got a lot of advantages and they're pretty useful. I like the one I got now, I'll put a link into it. Um, just because it's actually, it's got some little neat designs like the old bags or flat bags. They get hard to zip up, but the new bag I got, they actually they built it kind of tapered where it's got a flat bottom. So it's just easy to put ice and fish and still zip it up. I hope this test helped you to understand how long ice will last in your different compartments. Obviously, there's a lot of factors, temperature, 
you know, of the given day, what type of fish box your boat has, things like that. But hopefully this will just give you an idea of, um, you know, the improvements you can make by adding a fish bag. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.